Hi friends, are you crooked? You're in a water bottle. I don't know if you're crooked or not. Maybe you're not. Um, hi, starting our day. Trying something new this, this morning. I've done this uh, protein as like a shake where I'd add like ice and milk and blend it up and whatnot. But a lot of the time I don't want to make the effort to make, the sh make an actual shake. So this morning, I saw this online. I'm gonna make it as a hot chocolate instead. We're about to run to errands. It's cold and rainy. It's like 40 degrees out there, 45. So I thought I would just take my breakfast on the go, but we're gonna see how it tastes as a chocolate milk, or as a, like a hot chocolate. So I've warmed it up a little bit. Now I need to warm it up more, and then I'm gonna taste it. Okay, it's hot. I also don't know if I have enough powder in it. Because one serving is two scoops and I only did like a scoop and a half. So I'm gonna stir this up, test it. See, it looks really creamy and really good, but I don't know. So we'll try this. I also think Kaylee has a stash of marshmallow cream somewhere. Maybe I can add a little bit of that. All right, unfortunately it just tastes like warmed protein milk. This isn't well, this is why I kind of switched to using the Fairlife protein milk. This one is almost gone. The chocolate is. Actually, there's probably only two or three more servings left in it. But that's why I stopped using it. Because it tastes like a protein drink. You don't want it to taste like one. I've added some marshmallow fluff <laughs> to see if. If you name it a French name, then you can charge eight bucks for it. And it tastes better. I know. And add coffee to it. <laughs> I don't know. I'll drink it because I made it, but not my favorite. Also, this is our pebble ice water refill <laughs> right here. I just keep it. All our water bottles. Well, apparently our water bottles don't get put away. They all go up to the very top. But this one is special for the water container. And as soon as we use up these kind of hot cocoa cups, and yes, my kids are still obsessed with making hot cocoa, we're going to pull out the Valentine ones. In fact, Maybe we'll just switch them. We're just going to switch them. All right. Nothing fancy because I'm not even getting out the Valentine's Day decorations. And we still have peppermint candies um, right here. But I think it's cute. Might as well use them. Literally, Kaylee and Abby probably take a hot cocoa every morning either to school or work. So they'll get used. And I'm sure Ashley will make one as soon as she gets home. Okay. We are documenting this. Okay, we're coming down this road here, okay? Right? There's a road. We're just driving. Just driving. Our Going plan to the bank. is go to the uh, bank. And other and we're, we're, we're talking 11. about other banks. And she just goes into the turn lane. And I'm like, where, where are we going? Are we going to got to get a drink already this morning? And she's like, oh, oh. She didn't even know. <laughs> Subconscious. <laughs> McDonald's has trained her to just go there. Whenever she's within probably a <laughs> half a mile. She doesn't even know what she's doing. She just goes there. How many times a week do you just find yourself in the drive-thru? No, realize, that's, I've never done that. I've never done this that. This is like the, at least the third time we've been driving and you just get in a turn lane. And I'm like, where are we going? Gosh. McDonald's, great job. Great job. You have trained, I bet, millions of housewives to just go to the Coke. Go to the Coke. <laughs> Nice, hun. We're at the bank. We're not getting it. You a made coke. it to the bank. I still have my breakfast yes. drink. You made it to the Tell bank. Still tastes gross. Gonna... You were you were so confused, but I'm like, where where are we going? <laughs> You're like, oh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I have not gotten my drink. Still, we've returned that chair to Amazon because it wasn't the right color, it's and UPS, we're yeah. well, it's a UPS. We're at Target, and we're getting some birthday gift items. For our oldest, Ashley's birthday gift items are coming in the mail in like a week. And I just want him, I want to clarify with him that there are things I don't have on a list. It's a go and explore and see what speaks to me. Okay? So, there's no list. I have no list. And this is a weird for me Should we as check well. the back and see what we already have so we don't get... Yes. I'm going to check what, what I've already got, which is hiding in my, in my trunk for Kaylee and then so they both have birthdays um, we'll just say we have to celebrate their birthdays early 
Um, so I have to be ready to go in March for their birthdays versus April for their birthdays. Chelsea, I will be fine. I could even order stuff after we get back from Hawaii and still have plenty of time for Chelsea's birthday. But Kaylee and Ashley's birthdays, I have to get them all ready to go um, by mid-March in order to like be ready on time. But I'm also taking the advice of one of, from one of you. I really don't even remember who it was that said it. I need a clarifying shampoo. You you said a specific brand, I think, in your message about my hair. I don't I don't know if I really am ready to spend forty dollars or whatever on Amazon for shampoo. So I'm just gonna go and look and see if I can find some clarifying shampoo because the one I have is actually like a volumizing, and I don't oh, pay so attention to this adding, stuff. I'm just like if it's stuff. Costco, I just like a standard shampoo, but I don't need to volumize this hair. So I think I'm just adding. Yeah, product to, to make my it hair. Thicker, some thicker age or fluffy agent or something. Yes, I don't need that. So, but I don't know what I'm getting. I don't know what kind it is. We got to do a little exploring, and he gets a little bit. We're gonna be good, right? He's uh, his silence is already like this is ridiculous. You want to come with me, correct? I do, cause I love being around you. Right. So you chose to come, just to understand. This is why a lot of wives... I chose to come, so now I've lost any free agency. No. <laughs> it's not that you don't have free agency. I just don't need all the comments. Like, okay, no comments. No, just no degrading comments. Degrading, about... come on. I'm not degrading. No, That's... Well, no, but like, do we need that? Do we need that? Do we need that? I'm not one to like come and spend $500 at Target no, every don't. week. You don't. I'm not. Don't. So, You're a responsible spender. In fact... The, the clerk, the checkout lady in the, the self-checkout, she's like, I haven't seen you in a long time. Last time we were here? And you'd be like, that's why I'm always driving to McDonald's. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just try, I mean, this is like, you know, super cheap, but it does say it's a clarifying, a cleansing, I don't know. Removes excess oil, buildup, and residue. Sounds this good. is your cheaper version, this is your mid-range. Um, removes up to 100% of residue for all hair types. So we're gonna try this one first, but I, I don't really see the like the buildup until like day two, day three. Um, actually, like the night of the first wash, I can actually see, see the residue. So it's probably from my shampoo. So we're gonna try that one first. All right, we got home to a, this haul. <laughs> um, I, I said I ordered some stuff for the kids, birthdays and for Hawaii. Um, I don't really like to support this, but I also can't afford not to support it. <laughs> um, but I do need, I wanted some of the stuff to be a surprise for Ashley's birthday, but this pair of, they're like the skorts, where they've got like the um, athletic biker shorts underneath and the cute flare um, skirt over the top of it. Um, I need her to try this one on. She picked all of this stuff out. She picked out a few extra swimsuits just so that I could surprise her. But I just worry that part of these won't fit. Like I'm worried about the shorts not fitting. We've already put the, her panties up to this one and I don't think that's gonna fit. But I do think the top is gonna fit on this set here. And then this is, I thought this was a t-shirt, but it's actually like a swim cover. It's like mesh see-through. It's actually really soft. But I, I mean, it's cute, but I can't keep this if I'm returning the swim bottoms. So I have to return like all of this. So unfortunately I have to show it to her ahead of time. I have to show it to her today and have her try that one on. But all of this can be a surprise. So I'm not even gonna, all of her friends who are watching, you don't get to see. <laughs> so, um, and then Kaylee got a swimsuit, I think. Is this one a swimsuit or is this a dress? Oh yeah, it's a swimsuit that it did not fit. She tried it on just a little bikini. Um, I'm no longer in charge of these styles for their swimsuits because she's an adult. And so, um, but actually this one came with a cute like wrap. So it's, she just wants to order this one in. Um, actually, like it's funny because they all ordered a wrap just like the one I got from Target where it's like like that so we'll have to return all this get the same one right Kaylee yeah is this one just one I don't remember what size this one is medium 
So just where are the, the large. large? Yeah. Are you sure that's gonna? Was it just barely not fitting? Yeah, like just like, yeah, like this is not gonna be okay. So we're gonna. We already know we're gonna return this guy and this other. Is this a swimsuit? Yeah. Of hers. Oh, that swim cover. That thing is cute too. So I like the print on this one as well. So we're just gonna get new sizes on those two. Oh yeah, that would be good. But too. this wrap is really cute. And it works with the white one as well. I know, like it's like dual action. So definitely like, hopefully we can get the right size for those. And then, so I'm, I have a feeling we're gonna return all three of those. But there's a lot for Ashley's birthday. Actually we're gonna, I thought these ones were little nail stickers, but they're not. And she literally can't wear these from now until after we get back from Japan because of cheer. So I thought there were stickers and she could just paint her nails pink and then put the sticker on and have that, but she can't wear that. And then I got um, some cheapo, um, you're going? Yeah. Okay. Um, some cheapo watch bands, um, a pink one and a white one. I love having these colors when I'm in Hawaii, <laughs> but I didn't want to spend like the $50 from Apple to get the official ones. So I just, these ones are $1.50. <laughs> $1.50 and I can pack them in my suitcase and trade them out when I want to and they'll match our cute little wristbands that we're gonna get at the hotel. We have like, they look like a little, we, you've seen them before, but they look cute with the wristbands that the hotel gives us. So those ones were a good find. Another little birthday surprise I'm not gonna show here. I need to hide it, I'm gonna put it in the bag. And then I got some travel stuff that I'm going to save for a travel video. Hmm, should I show you guys? Just know that I'm, this is a little sneak peek. I am gonna do a little travel travel video haul type thing closer to our trip, um, but I did get luggage tags because they were like a dollar a piece. And I wanted the ones where it hides our address um, because obviously like I don't want people to see my address but I also don't want you guys to see my address and there are so many times where I'm showing the suitcases and I end up having to cut the footage or have to like cover up our address because it shows so I want it covered up and then I got this super cheapo trash bag for my car and I'm just going to I might just like put like I, I have doggy bags in my car <laughs> I don't know how I got them um, but I think I'm just gonna put a doggy bag in here and then um, kind of spill it out over the edge and like put an elastic around the outside or something. Um, and this is for the back seat of my car because my car trash can is so small um, and I need like the back seat people to be able to put their trash in that. So I'm keeping that and then I got a tank top that I think is too big. So I might return this one and I don't know that I'll replen replenish it. I got this for family photos um, when we're there because we're doing like very neutrals. Um, but I think it's too big, so I don't know. Look, or maybe it, it looks too big because it's really long and I don't like that look anymore. But I did find a blue one at Old Navy um, that I think will work well with our theme. So I'll try that one on, but I think I might return that one. And then Chelsea has a swimsuit. Again, not for birthday or anything. She just needs a new swimsuit. I love the pattern and I love the style of hers. You're getting a little Shein haul. Um, I love the style of hers, but I just, I don't know if she's, she's never done like this style before. She's always done like the board shorts. So I think she'll like the top. Um, and then she also got, but anyway, I, Kaylee has a pair of board short bottoms that she will give Chelsea as well. But I might order, when I'm reordering Kaylee's swimsuits, I might order her a pair of swim, like black board short bottoms, just cause they're more comfortable. But then I also got her this cute wrap. Isn't hers really cute? We're all gonna have like matching little short sarongs and just has the cute little tie on the side. So, I mean, these ones, this was like $3, so. I don't know. I mean, and the swimsuits are like seven. So that's why I have to just order it from here because I saved a ton of money and they're just gonna grow out of it next year. So anyway, I think Jason has taken up. <laughs> Look at him. 
He's taken up his place. Can you even see him? There he is. He's relaxing. Taking his place on the floor. Um, don't really have anything else to do. Um, so, anyway, kind of didn't know that this was coming so fast. Um, so I'm gonna go put travel stuff upstairs, and then I'm gonna put the little try-on pile for the kids to try on when they get home. All right, so I'm hanging out in my car once again. <laughs> my normal nightly location. Actually, a, not a, a normal location. Normal location of the car, I should say. But tonight, I am waiting for Chelsea instead of Ashley. Uh, she Chelsea is at a little choir bash, multi-school little event tonight. But it is not an actual concert. So all of us parents are sitting in our cars <laughs> because it was at a different high school, a little further out of town. Um, and so we're all just kind of waiting here. I have an hour left to wait. I had an hour and a half after I dropped her off. So I ran to get a drink really quick, but a McDonald's was further away than I thought it was going to be, which was fine because I have time to kill, right? But I had to go to McDonald's because despite the fact that I prepared myself, it looks like there's like grape juice in here, but these are the color changing cups. Um, but there's ice in here by Pebble Ice. And I meant to grab my very last Coke Zero from home so that I didn't buy it out and I had a Coke Zero in the car along with my water. Um, but the water is gone now and I didn't have a drink. And so, well, the water's almost gone. I'm still drinking it, but I needed to go get a drink. So I go get the McDonald's and I have the cup and she's handing it to me and the whole thing is like spraying from the bottom of the cup. And it's like gushing all over my car, all over my pants. <laughs> Like, I think there's a leak. She's like, no, I think it's just dripping down the side. I'm like, and then I squeezed the, the cup as I'm like holding it. And I was like, mm, no, it's like gushing out the bottom of the cup. So she had to get me a new cup. I had to like clean up my pants. It just barely came out of the wash last night. Like it's all over my pants. It's kind of drying now, but I know it's going to stain. So I do that and I'm halfway back to the high school to sit in the parking lot and I had to go to the bathroom. So where do I pull over? A gas station where I could have just gotten the Coke and it's like five minutes from the high school. I was like, this is so dumb. Cause then I had, I mean, it was either like use the gas station bathroom or come to the high school and have to like find parking and then go into the high school and find a bathroom. And we all know that that's a risky situation. <laughs> so I'm sitting in my car I'm gonna turn on a movie. I have to see if we have Apple TV in here. Maybe I need to add the app. Cause I would really loved, I started watching that uh, like a war movie, Masters in the Air, Masters of the Air, something like that. I'm gonna see if I can download um, the Apple app in here. And then, um, uh, but I wanted to say that these are, the start of a whole bunch of concerts for Chelsea that I'm going to have to sit and wait for. Some of them I get to go to, but she also gets to perform for Ashley's fifth grade orientation to middle school. Isn't that so strange? My baby's going to middle school next year. And so the choir and a bunch of other organizations are part of the fifth grade orientation night. Um, and so Chelsea gets to like go to the school in her choir uniform and perform for the fifth graders when they come to the school both during the day and then for parent night when I go at night even though I'm not this is not new news for me I still go as a parent to you know show my face to the teachers and let them know that I'm here <laughs> and to make sure I have all the registration information that I need so we will be sitting to wait for Chelsea a little bit more. Um, but I spent the afternoon trying to set up the appointment to get this bad boy fixed. So I went ahead and made that appointment and it's on kind of a fun day. So you have to stay tuned. I couldn't, I purposely scheduled the appointment a couple weeks out. One, to make sure that they had time to get the parts. I'm expecting a message back from Tesla because they have it's like I didn't give very much detailed information when you like request an appointment normally you tell them specifically what you need done and what you need fixed but they literally have both of my estimates they know exactly what they need to fix so I'm hoping that when they see my appointment they'll pull up my account and they'll see raccoon and sideswipe <laughs> okay we'll go ahead and fix these two things um, but 
I purposely scheduled that appointment on a day when Jason has to work, so I have to have my father-in-law take me to go and drop off the car, and it likely will need to be there all weekend. Why do I not, why am I excited to not have a car? Well, you're gonna have to stay tuned because I will not need my car that weekend, which is why I'm letting him have it all weekend to get it fixed. I don't know how long it's gonna take them, hopefully just the weekend. So stay tuned because I will tell you what I'm gonna be going to do without my car while it is getting fixed, which I'm very excited that it's gonna get fixed. What else did I do today? Uh, it feels like I didn't but do anything, but I did. I did do things. I paid the credit card bill. Um, I don't know. I just, you know, it is what it is. Um, you have, sometimes it's at, like I can't show everything that I do because it's just like boring office work, boring computer work and, and whatnot. But I am going to show you tonight. Um, this is day three hair. And yes, I have darker hair on top. But like, it, this is just build up. This is just like, it's not even like sweaty. I mean, I guess it kind of is. I don't know. But it's definitely like, it just is like, it, it kind of looks and feels like I've got like gel in it or something. Um, so I am gonna use that shampoo tonight and wash it. I don't know if I'm gonna straighten it tomorrow. I don't really have any major plans, but I do wanna see if that shampoo is gonna help like clean it up. I'm actually going to use the apple cider vinegar I have in a spray bottle in the shower. So I'm going to use that first and then I'm going to use the shampoo and hopefully we can fix, you know, and have my hair look nice because I don't, I don't like how build up it is and I'd like to, I like to give my hair a break and not wash it and it's doing well with this style on like lasting two or three days except I don't like how the top looks but I also don't want to get my hair colored. I just need to like suck it up that I don't have blonde hair anymore. And welcome to my late 50, late forties, not fifties. I am not fifty yet. I'd have to ask a few. Hi, Chelsea. I know. <laughs> so Chelsea, as a friend that she just did choir with, yeah, and she just she watches my channel when <laughs> when she can't sleep. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. It is. It is. But she loves our channel. Yeah. And uh, Chelsea's mildly embarrassed by that. No, I'm just saying it's funny. <laughs> Well, you'd never watch it yourself, no. so it's just weird to you, but yeah. anyway, but to ask her if she, <laughs> she just sent a photo of herself, ask her if I can show it. Okay, we asked her if she, we could show her photo, and what did she say? Your mother can show any photo of me. It would be a blessing. <laughs> okay, so I've got the photo down here. She's going on her phone too, but this is nice and bright right here. So there she is. <laughs> She's such a cutie. So there she is. What's her name again? Emma. Emma. So everyone say hi to Emma. <laughs> and uh, we're just sitting here in the parking lot waiting to go home. Yeah. And Chelsea just doesn't. Oh, I gotta. There we go. It's a rare occurrence to get Chelsea. Just a little light. Oh, yeah. There she is. With all the red brake lights in front of us. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I got that scratch on I don't either. Mouth.